Hello everyone, in this small video, I'm gonna show you a new feature of Swift 4.2 and it is called case iterable. So basically the idea is that if you have an enumerated type with a couple of cases, how would you iterate over those cases? So let's first see that if you are not using Swift 4.2, how we used to do it before, and then we will introduce case iterable, the new feature of Swift 4.2 so that you can see that how you can do it right now. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and create enum. And I'm gonna call this enum, obviously you can call it anything you want. I'm just gonna call it categories. Now, I will be typing a little bit slow. Both of my fingers on the left hand are actually cut for uh, some reason and uh, in a small accident, but uh, it should be okay. Hopefully I'll be able to type it all out. All right, so the first case, let's say I'm gonna call it general. And then let's say sports and um, what else? Finance. So these are different cases that I am adding politics and so on. Health. Okay. So now if I want to iterate over this uh, categories, how would I do that? Well, one way of doing that is to introduce an extension. And I can go ahead and say, I mean, you don't really have to have an extension, I guess, but you can create an extension and in the extension I can create a static let and I can call this all cases which will be of type an array of categories and then I can go ahead and initialize with different cases general basically all the cases that I have defined if I want all the cases all right so let's go ahead and uh, at least use some of them politics and then finally I guess health okay now since this is uh, a, an array, the all cases, and it's an extension to the categories enum type, I can now use this uh, anywhere in my code. So I can go ahead and say categories dot all cases dot for each and simply print out the value of each case. So this is going to simply print out, well, all the cases that I have, and you can see on the console on the output window, it actually displays journal, sports, finance, politics, and health. It's fine. And this is kind of like the old way of doing things before Swift 4.2. And after Swift 4.2, if you need to iterate over these cases, uh, you don't really need to create this extension on categories and or even the property, which is all cases. The only thing you need to do is to make sure that your categories or whatever enum that you're using is actually using case iterable. All right. Now, once we do that, you'll see that if I go ahead and type uh, categories dot, and now I have all cases. All right. I, and I can go ahead and iterate over them. So I can say for each, and I can simply go ahead and print it out. Oops. And let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that it's going to produce the same exact result. So we, as moving forward, if you're using Swift 4.2, uh, you can simply use case iterable to make sure or to allow your enum types, enumerated types to be iterable and you can iterate over all of those cases like we have done. And now you have also learned the old technique that we created an extension on our enum type and then we had all cases as a static property and then we were doing that, all right? So that's pretty much it. If you like this and if you want to support uh, my videos, then go ahead and check out some of my U Udemy courses. I have 19 courses that you can see on Udemy and around uh, 37,000 students and around 2,000 reviews. And I'm sure that you are going to find the course uh, that you're looking for. I, most of my courses are obviously iOS development because I love iOS development. And you can see server side Swift and JSON and augmented reality and all that stuff. So I have a lot of courses on many different things. So hopefully you are going to enjoy these courses. The link is in the description. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much.